Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the publisher of In 30 Minutes Guides, available at in30minutes.com, and that includes PowerPoint Basics in 30 Minutes. Today I'm going to be talking about PowerPoint 2016, the desktop application from Microsoft, available as a part of uh, Office 365 or Office 2016, and the other version of PowerPoint, which is called PowerPoint Online. And while they appear very similar, uh, there are some important differences that you should know about, and I'm going to be talking about them right now. So let's first start with PowerPoint 2016, the desktop version. This is the Mac version of PowerPoint 2016, but the Windows version looks almost the same. There's a few minor differences in terms of how files are handled. Um, for instance, the Backstage view in Mac looks a little bit different than it does in the, uh, in the Windows version. But the toolbars, which are the main way to interact with PowerPoint, uh, they're basically the same between the two versions. So uh, the toolbar is actually called a ribbon interface, and basically you switch tabs to get to the different features. As you, and as you can see, there are lots of features under each one of the tabs that I'm going through right now. So this is PowerPoint 2016, uh, the desktop version of PowerPoint, and it's pretty powerful. So here's uh, the, what it looks like in the desktop version, and let's take a look at the same presentation in PowerPoint Online. Now to get to PowerPoint Online, go to uh, live.com, or I think it's microsoft.live.com, or just search for PowerPoint Online, it will show up. And uh, eventually, what you'll do after logging on is you'll be able to access the presentations that you have stored on OneDrive. And I'll come back to that in a minute. At a, on a basic level, it looks pretty similar, doesn't it? So here, here's the ribbon interface. Here's the ribbon interface for the PowerPoint Online, and they have the different uh, tabs here, and I can switch between them. But a pretty important thing becomes apparent once you start to look at the different tabs. And the Home tab looks very close to what you'll see on the regular PowerPoint Home tab. Okay, Very similar feature set. However, let's take a look at Review. And you can see there's a couple different options. Check the spelling. Um, did they look? Yeah, they have a thesaurus. So if I wanted to see if there's another way to say the word include, I could click on this and it would show different words that I can use as an alternative. And uh, you can do things like adding comments, restricting permissions, reviewing the comments. So let's take a look at the online version. Click on the review ribbon and right away you'll see something is very, very different here. There's only one option in review. The spelling, the thesaurus, the protect the document, the comment, reviewing the comments and stuff like that, it's not available in PowerPoint Online. And indeed, if you switch between the different ribbons, you'll see that there's quite a bit that's missing from the uh, online version. So here's the transitions ribbon. This, this is, determines how you go from one slide to the next, like will it fade or will it morph? Will it split? Will it have uh, some sort of special shape thing? and animations, which a lot of people use to make the, give some action to their presentation. There's lots of options here. And uh, not only that, once you set an animation, let's see if I have any on this page, yeah. Um, you can also do things like fine tune how the animation appears or how it works. So down here I can change the timing very in a very specific way. I can add a smooth start or a smooth end or a bounce end, all this other stuff. But let's take a look at what it looks like in PowerPoint Online. And the animations, for one, for one thing, um, there's not a whole lot of them. Uh, you can reorder them. You can add a couple of very basic ones like appear, fade in, fly in. And maybe there's some options to how the positioning works. But all that timing stuff or like a smooth fade in and all that stuff, it's not available in PowerPoint Online. So not only are there fewer features in PowerPoint Online, they're not as fine-tuned as the desktop version, uh, PowerPoint 2016. And that's a pretty important consideration in my 
point of view. Uh, one area where they're actually, where I, I, I was surprised to see this actually, the uh, design elements are pretty, pretty good in the, uh, in the themes area. The design ribbon, this is PowerPoint Online, you can choose between different themes and it's pretty quick to uh, convert it to something else and then you can add like, you can change the color of that theme. Uh, but what I have found is that, again, on the PowerPoint, the desktop version, much more sophisticated, um, you know, all kinds of themes that you can use, and it looks really good. And then uh, let's also talk a little bit about the saving part of it, which also relates to collaboration. So PowerPoint Online, as I mentioned before, it's online, and the only way that you can access a file is if the file is stored in Microsoft OneDrive. See how it says save to OneDrive? It has to be saved to OneDrive. You cannot save this version of the presentation to your hard drive from this particular program. I don't think you can. No, yeah, see it only allows you to save it to, there's only, you, you can only save it to OneDrive. Now OneDrive of course can sync with your desktop hard drive um, but for some people that may not be good because maybe they want to access materials that are in their uh, desktop area or they want to save it to some desktop or some network environment, uh, like a, a shared network drive at work. You can't do that. It has to be saved to OneDrive. And um, the regular version of PowerPoint, you can save it to your hard drive on your computer or you can save it to OneDrive and sync it to, or sync it to OneDrive. So there's a lot more flexibility for this particular version of it. Uh, but I think that's a, that's a pretty big consideration uh, for people who want to have more control over where they save their presentation. So the desktop version is definitely more superior to that. And then the other thing about OneDrive is I found that OneDrive, it just, it's not a smooth experience. Sometimes things, things don't sync that quickly or you want to collaborate with somebody. And by the way, um, you can collaborate in the regular version of of PowerPoint, but you have to save it to OneDrive to make that work. Um, so that's a, so that's a consideration for collaboration. But if it if it's if it's not working that well, that the you know you, you that person can't figure out how to use OneDrive or it's not syncing properly, that can really uh, make the online experience uh, pretty pretty negative. So overall, um, the feature set comparing PowerPoint 2016 to PowerPoint Online, 2016 wins out by a mile. Just way more options for doing all kinds of stuff. It's much more flexible in terms of where you can save something, either to your, uh, uh, your hard drive on your computer, a network drive, or OneDrive, whereas the online version is only, you, you have to save to OneDrive. There's no other option, save to OneDrive. But there's one huge advantage of PowerPoint Online compared to PowerPoint 2016, and that is cost. PowerPoint 2016, you have to get it as part of the Office 365 suite, which is a subscription-based suite. I think the, you know, the cheapest rate is probably $80 or $100 per year um, compared to, uh, or you can, I think you can still get the desktop version of Office 2016, but that's a couple hundred dollars. PowerPoint Online is actually free. You have to have a Microsoft account, uh, but that's not that hard to set up. You, I, you just need an email address and a password. And, and actually, if you already have Skype or uh, Xbox Live, you, can, you already have a Microsoft account, and you can use it based on that. So once you have a, once you have a Microsoft account, um, you can log on to live.com and start to create presentations and edit them in PowerPoint Online. But they you know, they deliberately make the features a lot less because they want you to subscribe. They, they, don't want to give it, they don't want to give it away for free. And actually, the only reason they really are, Microsoft is really giving away PowerPoint online for free is because they want to compete with Google, which has a free, a, a, you know, an adequate uh, software program called Google Slides, which I've covered in another video. Uh, but if you have a choice between the free version of PowerPoint online and the free version of Google Slides, I definitely choose Google Slides uh, because Google Slides is superior to PowerPoint Online. However, uh, PowerPoint 2016, this is the, you know, this is the workhorse. This can really do it all. It's a very powerful program. Uh, has a couple, you know, you have to pay for it, which is a drawback for some people. But if you want to get work done or you're doing a business presentation or you're giving a presentation in a public place to a lot of people, 
this is the tool that you want to use. PowerPoint Online, it's good for basic stuff. If you don't, you know, maybe you can't afford the Microsoft PowerPoint to Office 365 subscription. This is adequate for just very simple presentations and it will get you started. Um, but for serious work, you'll, be want, you'll want to use PowerPoint 2016 or the desktop version of PowerPoint in either Mac or Windows machines. For more information on how to get the most out of PowerPoint, we have this great book by Angela Rose called PowerPoint Basics in 30 Minutes, available from in30minutes.com. Thank you so much for watching.